All right, everybody, this is Ross. Merry Christmas. We're getting close to that date. Maybe we're already there. I don't know. Happy Hanukkah. Um, happy holidays, just in general, whatever you guys celebrate. If you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, you know that we posted recently about pears, a particular type of pear, really a variety of pear called Kamas. And I got into this pair uh, through a company called Harry and David. They sell these gift boxes. Really, they they sell a whole bunch of different you know crap, kind of junk food and things like that. But they they also are really well known for their pairs, and they have uh, particular pairs that you may be able to to buy that are wrapped in this really this gold wrapping where they I guess they take really special care uh, and attention of these pairs and they, you know, they send them out to you um, as like a nice little treat. And after eating and experiencing this, these pairs for the first time, I was really convinced that they are my favorite pair. Um, I've never had a pair quite like it. And I researched online to figure out what the variety was and I learned that it's a commas. It's a commas pair. So, Posting about it on Instagram, what I was saying was that I was basically talking about how awesome this pair is, and then also just getting it from the store. You, you don't even have to order. You know, I'm not promoting these people here, Harry and David. You don't even have to buy the, the pairs from these people. What you can do is just go to the store. Some stores may sell the variety commas. I was at Whole Foods recently. They sell them there. Um, I was at ShopRite, which is a an East Coast place over here. Um, they sell them. So you may be able to find them locally. And I got them for like somewhere around really like $1.50 to $2 a pound is I would say a reasonable price, especially considering what you, how many pairs and how much this gift box costs. Uh, I think it's a reasonable price. Um, so what I figured I would do, which is weird in that post on Instagram, is that I talked about the store-bought ones and I said, you know, you can just go to the store and get them. They're comparable in quality. You don't have to buy the gift box to really get the full experience. And then all of a sudden, really like a day later, uh, our family was sent the, the uh, Harry and David pairs once again this year. So I figured, why not put the test, why not do a test and really compare them side by side and see really what the deal is. If you can really get them from the store or if you buy them specifically from Harry David. And you know, they have to be in this gold wrapping or whatnot. I will say that the ones that aren't in the gold wrapping and they're just in this green stuff, definitely are not at the higher quality as the one in the wrapping. And you can obviously tell by the blush on the fruit. You know, there's just a nice blush. Um, the size is slightly different. Um, I've also noticed for whatever reason this year, not to knock on them, because I, I really do love these pears, but a couple of the pairs in the box didn't really do well, didn't form correctly. They just have these weird um, spots on them. I'm gonna cut that open and see what that's about. Maybe they picked them at the wrong time. I don't necessarily know. Here's one that we actually had last night. So I'm gonna cut this. Uh, this is one of the ones that was wrapped in the green wrapping. Here's the one that was wrapped or has the nice blush on it wrapped in the gold wrapping. And then we'll do one that I bought here from the store on my right. This one's very ripe, very soft. I really haven't had a whole lot of time to make videos recently. So this is uh, me just saving the pair the best I could. So here we go. They smell actually amazing. And what I think is really amazing about this particular variety of pear is that it's so soft. It has like the perfect texture. It really is like, in my mind, sort of like eating a marshmallow. It's that good. Uh, you know, pears, if you really know what separates a good pear from a bad pear, a lot of it's in the texture. It's not necessarily in the flavor. You know, they all relatively taste very similar. But the texture, there's all these individual grains in a pear, and they can be very grainy. Or they can be like this pear, which is very uniform in texture, very melting in your mouth that it feels like you're eating one pear rather than something that has all these individual little 
grains in them, uh, which can be very mealy and just for a lot of people not very good. So that's what kind of separates it. Let's try the I guess the uh, the store bought one. By the way, extremely juicy. Great flavor. The skin is pleasant. It's not over intrusive, although you definitely can uh, differentiate between the flesh and the skin pretty easily. Um, but it's not, it's not too difficult like some apples can be where the, the skin can really be an annoyance. Um, I really do. I remember my first real experience with one of these pears. I really felt like I was eating a marshmallow in a sense. It was like a pear plus a marshmallow, which believe it or not, if you've eaten a persimmon, it's kind of like a persimmon in that sense. The, you know, the pears and the persimmons are related. And I just find that if you get a really well ripened pear, you can get close to that persimmon quality. Um, which is kind of what I'm kind of picking up in this. Obviously, the flavor is not exactly the same. The texture is not exactly the same. But that marshmallow -y, um, not only the flavor, but also the texture of a marshmallow um, is present within this. And it's also present within persimmons at different stages of ripeness. But, you know, different fruits, guys, they develop different types of sugar. You know, some... Plums I have taste like bubble gum, you know. Um, uh, let's see, some of the uh, stone fruits I've had, like apricots, taste like cotton candy. Um, some of my figs taste like brown sugar, right? So these just taste like honey. And I think that depending on the fruit and even depending largely on the variety, you're going to develop these flavors of different types of sugar um, within that fruit. And it's just another complexity, I think, another interesting little piece of this whole puzzle. So for me, the store-bought commas is really, really good, although very ripe. So um, I think I like this pair a bit more ripe than, than not. And here is the, the uh, pair from Harry and David wrapped in the green wrapping. Mm -hmm. Same flavor, not as ripe. Therefore, it has an astringent factor to it, which I like. I like that dry mouth feel to it. Also melty, but not as melty and not as soft when it's, it's perfectly ripe. Honestly, I think it's uh, a little bit worse. It's not as sweet. I bet you the bricks is lower. Um, than the store-bought one. And then let's try the one that's wrapped in gold. We took it actually from the side with the, the blush on it. Hmm. Now this has got a different, slightly different flavor to it. Again, it's not as ripe. We should have never put these in the fridge, if you ask me, but we did. Um, they'll, they'll ripen well on your counter. You want to stop the ripening process, you put them in the fridge. Believe it or not, this one is a little bit more, it has the astringency to it, not as ripe. It's a little bit more grainy, but the flavor is more complex. It's really quite strange. And um, I don't really know what to make of it. I almost sort of think this is a different variety than your typical commas, believe it or not. You know, looking at them side by side, they look, they really do look the same. I would not be surprised if Harry and David because they're so secretive about their pears. I would not be surprised if this is a slightly different variety than your typical commas. It might be an improved version. I don't know. And I wish I had this one perfectly ripe, actually, now that I'm eating this.
But believe it or not, I like the store-bought commas the best. Um, like quite a bit. And I just believe it's probably due to the ripeness, but I also believe that the quality that I've been able to find at the store is almost better than what I have here from Harry and David. So again, you know, whether I was at Whole Foods or whether I was at uh, ShopRite, uh, you know, it was cheaper and it was also better quality and I could pick through the pairs that I wanted. I picked out the pairs with the blush on it that you would find in the gold wrapping, you know, and I ended up getting, I think, a better product personally. Um, so interesting. Uh, that was this little video here, guys. If you have a favorite pair that you like, uh, I know people love Seckle and others. Let me know down in the comments. I'm going to grow, I think, in the future, a lot more different types of pairs definitely going to grow commas. So we'll see you guys soon. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next one.